This is News 3 Now at 10. Good evening to all of you and thanks for joining us. It has been nearly a week straight now that temperatures have dropped below zero. And tonight will be no different as we prepare for what will likely be the coldest weather this weekend. Let's go right to Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti on the backyard patio. Gary? Yeah, it's the cold snap that won't end after uh, not seeing temperatures below zero be right before this uh, cold snap started. Now every night seems to be below zero. Live view from the Edgewater Sky Camp looks pretty out here, but it is cold. In fact, uh, low temperatures this morning dropped up to 11 below zero in Madison, 13 below zero in Boscobel, 17 below zero in Lone Rock. High temperatures only made it up to around 10 degrees or just a little bit above. Here is east of Madison, didn't even get that warm. And now temperatures have dropped to zero in Madison. They're below zero to the north and west. Not much of a breeze out there, but when the wind is uh, moving or the air is moving, you can see wind chills right now, 10 below zero in Madison, 11 below zero in Viroqua. And we could see wind chills perhaps as cold as 20 to 25 below zero. Wind chill advisories now have been expanded eastward into the Madison and Dane County area, as well as areas immediately to the west and north and from midnight tonight through 9 a.m. tomorrow. Our western viewers have that wind chill advisory through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. By morning, we'll be down to about 10 below zero with wind chills to 25 below zero. Tomorrow's high only at 6. Skies will turn cloudy. Could see some light snow or flurries late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. But as we mentioned, the coldest air may not arrive until the end of the weekend. I'll have more details on just how frigid it'll get in just a few minutes. A developing story tonight, a box alarm fire in Marshall has closed off a portion of Highway 73. The fire was first reported around 620 and it burned for at least a couple of hours. Crews from several departments were called in to help. Our crew on the scene did speak with the homeowner who says everyone, including the pets, got out safely. No word yet on what caused it. This freezing cold weather makes it tempting to let your car warm up even for a few minutes. But police are warning against that, saying that it could result in more than just your car being stolen. Madeline O'Neill tells us more about a recent rash of car thefts in the Madison area. Maddie? Well, luckily I'm at home and warm tonight, but when it's this cold outside, I think we've all been there wanting to turn on the car for a bit to let it warm up before going out into the cold. But some numbers to put things in perspective. Last year, about 639 cars were stolen in Madison. More than half had the keys readily accessible and more than 100 were running at the time. When it's this cold, we'll take any extra warmth we can get. We see a lot of people that want to warm up their cars, and for good reason. Some will take whatever they can get. We've seen a rash of car thefts recently. On Sunday alone, the Madison Police Department says eight cars were stolen. I don't think we've ever seen uh, a single day with that many stolen autos in our city. Public Information Officer Tyler Griggs says the cold is driving up the numbers as cars are taken from driveways and garages and ending up down some dark roads. They're uh, being used and then they're being abandoned. They're being used for commission of crimes. Even violent crimes. Two recently stolen vehicles were involved in robberies. One of an 86-year-old woman on Sunday who was in the store parking lot um, who had her purse stolen. And then another on Monday, a similar incident. This criminal behavior is unacceptable. Chief Sean Barnes is sending this video message out to Madison residents, noting that the department honed in on these thefts and associated crimes Tuesday, doing follow-up investigations and upping patrol in neighborhoods and store parking lots. Three recovered stolen autos were returned to their rightful owners, five criminal arrests, multiple drugs recovered, and most importantly, four guns were taken from our city streets. Crime prevention is a joint effort. Police say the key to that is not letting your car warm up unattended and unlocked, even for a few minutes. If we're able to get a remote start, that's definitely a way to go, or if you have extra keys available. Chief Barnes says they'll continue these extra efforts to address the problem if necessary. And car thefts in general have been going up. From 2019 to 2020, the Madison Police Department saw about a 50% increase. Maddie, thank you. New tonight, could body cameras be crucial in improving law enforcement in Madison following a summer of protest and searing hot tension of racial injustice? That is a question the committee tried to answer in a report presented to the Madison Public Safety Committee. Ultimately, the committee did not come to a conclusive answer on whether body cameras would help with police reform. It is recommending the city try out a body camera pilot program 
only if the mayor and common council agree and can afford to do so. Grand Chute police arrested two more people today in connection to last month's deadly shooting at Fox River Mall. According to a news release, Sharina Willis and Ralph Ellis were arrested without incident. The release said Willis and Ellis were arrested on suspicion of harboring and aiding a felon. The accused shooter, 17-year-old Desmond Ellis, was given a $1.5 million bail yesterday on charges of first-degree intentional homicide and first-degree recklessly endangering safety. Dominic Black, the friend of Kyle Rittenhouse, who allegedly purchased the rifle used the night of the fatal shootings of protesters this summer in Kenosha, appeared in court today. Black's attorney, Robert Keller, filed to withdraw as counsel on that case. 10 state and county health officials have confirmed 821 new COVID cases today. That is about 100 cases below the seven day rolling average. In the past day, 35 more people have died and almost 25,000 doses of the vaccine were administered. 3.2% of Wisconsin's population has completed their COVID vaccination series. That means almost 184,000 people have gotten both doses of the shot. The state's very first community vaccination site is just days from opening. Blackhawk Technical College in Janesville will be able to vaccinate a thousand people a week to start. This site will open next Tuesday for anyone who already qualifies for a vaccine. Governor Evers got an in-person tour of the site today of what is essentially the pilot program for the state of Wisconsin. Be able to come, drive in, and essentially the flow of active flow of people through this facility as they get vaccinated, as they as they are observed. Uh, and then exit. It's it's all going to be very slick and very uh, uh, very easy for folks. This is the first of a number of clinics the state plans to open in the coming months. Vaccines here will be by appointment only. You can find out if you qualify by visiting our website, channel3000.com. The CDC is releasing new guidance focusing on best practices of the management of vaccines. They say a second dose of the vaccine can be scheduled up to 42 days after the first shot. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine shots that were authorized for emergency use in the U.S. are typically given 21 days apart. The Moderna vaccine has been scheduled for 28 days apart. The Madison School District bringing students back to in-person learning starting on March 9th. It is a phased approach where kindergartners will be brought back first and first and second graders come back a week later on March 16th. 4K then returns March 23rd. The district says it's been following CDC and public health guidelines to ensure a safe return. They've also been working with other districts who've already returned to in-person learning to take pieces of what's been working for them and apply it to MMSD. Everything from what safety mitigations they had in place as far as how students were walking down the hall um, to how they intentionally focused on social and emotional well-being. Next week, parents will get a survey to indicate if their child will return for in-person or if they choose to remain virtual. An app designed to keep the UW campus safe and avoid issues experienced in September is now live. The Safer Badgers app allows students to arrange testing on campus, see their results, and get into many buildings. Early reports from the school say the app is working smoothly. Mercy Health in Janesville says it has not received any new doses of the vaccine this week. So as a result, the healthcare provider says it had to contact around 650 patients who had vaccination appointments to reschedule. Governor Evers has ordered flags to be flown at half staff Friday in remembrance of a Wisconsin fire inspector who died of COVID-19. A news release says David Gerald Tomlinson died December 6th after he contracted the virus in the line of duty. He worked as a volunteer firefighter for more than 30 years and most recently the fire inspector at the Poinette Decora Fire Department. Governor Evers' order will go into effect from sunrise to sunset Friday. As former president and Trump's Senate impeachment trial formally got underway. House managers started to lay out their case, arguing Mr. Trump incited the Capitol insurrection over time as he tried to overturn the presidential election results. CBS News correspondent Natalie Brand with the latest from Washington. House managers and former President Trump's Senate impeachment trial played a series of chilling and violent videos from the Capitol riot, some not previously seen. One shows Officer Eugene Goodman rushing to respond and directing Senator Mitt Romney to run for safety away from rioters. And here, Vice President Pence and his family evacuated as rioters who were searching for him and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi closed in. Nancy! Where are you, Nancy? President Trump put a target on their backs, and his mob broke into the Capitol to hunt them 
down. Serving as prosecutors, the nine impeachment managers took turns detailing the events leading up to the deadly violence at the Capitol exactly five weeks ago. He assembled the mob, he summoned the mob, and he incited the mob. President Donald J. Trump ran out of nonviolent options to maintain power. Using the former president's past tweets and words, they argue he fanned the flames well before that day in an effort to overturn the election. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. At least 17 GOP senators would have to join Democrats to convict Mr. Trump. Alaska Republican Lisa Murkowski described the evidence presented so far as pretty damning. I think that that the House managers are making a very strong case for a timeline that laid out very clearly with the words that were used, when he used them, how he used them, to, to really build the, the anger, the violence that we saw here in this Capitol. Texas Senator Ted Cruz called the footage horrific, but said the language from the former president doesn't come close to meeting the legal standard for incitement. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Members of the U.S. Capitol Police are apparently not happy with their leadership. Union members plan to hold a vote of no confidence tomorrow. The vote targets the police force's top leadership. It will come more than a month after one officer died and dozens were injured in January 6 Capitol riots. Some officers believe intelligence and operational failures left them vulnerable to the attack. Georgia prosecutors are now investigating if former President Trump attempted to influence its 2020 election. Today, Fulton County's prosecutor sent a letter to Georgia state election officials requesting they preserve documents related to a call between Trump and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. During the January 2nd call, Trump pushed Raffensperger to find the votes to overturn his loss to now President Joe Biden. State prosecutors will see if the call violated Georgia election law or any other state laws. New at 10, there have been new calls to the Madison Fire Department this winter about the fires at the city's homeless encampment at McPike Park getting out of hand. Madison Fire Chief Steve Davis says people start those fires to stay warm, but sometimes put too many materials on it, causing that fire to get under out of control. He says there are other places for people to turn to on cold nights like this. That would be the number one um, goal as fire chief is, you know, come out of the encampment, go into our facilities that we've got set up. There's uh, ample room in them uh, from every, every report. And Madison Emergency Men's Shelter is located on 1st Street. The Salvation Army is on East Washington. Still to come tonight, we'll have your updated forecast as we enter the second half of the work week. And it was an advertisement that first aired during the Super Bowl, and now it's already being pulled from the airwaves. We'll have the story behind it next. Like this new offer on one of Wisconsin's favorite lotto games. It's Badger 5 with Lightning Ball. During February, there's a 1 in 3 chance that a Lightning Ball strikes a play. When it does, players get an extra number, which means better odds of winning a prize, jackpot not included, only in February. This exciting offer from the Wisconsin Lottery is going fast. Shop the President's Day sale at Grand Appliance for up to $850 in extra savings on LG. The brand ranked number one in consumer satisfaction two years in a row. Get outstanding deals like this 4.5 cubic foot front load washer for just $748 or this 22 cubic foot French door refrigerator for just $1248. Shop your local Grand Showroom or GrandAppliance.com for these deals and more. Grand Appliance, experts since 1930. In the race for Greene County Judge, only one candidate has the experience to keep us safe, Jane Booker. 
As an attorney, Jane Booker is the only candidate with deep courtroom experience handling over 2,300 cases. Jane Booker is the only candidate to help start a drug court, saving lives and reducing crime. And Jane Booker is the only candidate endorsed by hundreds of community leaders, judges, and attorneys. As your judge, I'm prepared to make tough decisions, treat people fairly, and keep Greene County safe and strong. It's time for the Great American Sales Event at your local Ford store. Celebrate with FlexBuy. Get 0% APR for 66 months plus 1,000 President's Day cash on top of other offers on select SUVs. With deals on America's best-selling brand, now's a great time to buy. Hurry in or shop online before February 15th. Get FlexBuy on a 2020 Escape with 0% APR for 66 months. And with President's Day cash, get a total 3,000 cash back. Celebrate now during the Great American Sales Event. Wisconsin's National Guard steps up in an unprecedented year. The demand to do things that we traditionally have not done in terms of state active duty has been uh, incredible. An inside look at a constantly evolving mission. Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. Tech tycoon and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is getting closer to a breakthrough in yet another industry. He is now beaming internet service down from the ether. SpaceX's Starlink internet service is now accepting pre-orders online. Starlink provides an internet connection using an array of satellites. According to the company's website, Starlink is available to a limited number of users per coverage area on a first-come, first-served basis. Target is offering its employees cash and a free ride to get a COVID-19 vaccine. The retail chain says its 350,000 hourly workers will receive four hours of pay, two hours for each dose, and $15 to use for a lift ride when they roll up their sleeves for the shots. Target is also joining forces with CVS to offer vaccines in their stores and distribution centers. New tonight, Uber lost almost $7 billion in 2020, and that's actually good news for the ride-sharing company because they lost eight and a half billion the year before. But like most businesses, the company's ride-sharing department has been deeply affected by the ongoing pandemic. Uber has shifted its focus now to its other ventures, beefing up its delivery portfolio in recent months. Jeep says it'll pause its ad featuring Bruce Springsteen, the first air during the Super Bowl after news became public that the musician had been arrested for drunk driving late exact last year. The of Department the of the Interior the confirmed that news of the arrest today. Springsteen had starred in the two-minute ad urging we Americans to come together and meet in the middle. A remake of an American classic is reportedly in the works. According to Variety, New Line Cinema is planning to remake the classic The Wizard of Oz. The film will be an adaptation of L. Frank Baum's book, but Variety reports New Line is promising the film will be a fresh take on Dorothy in the Land of Oz. No casting information has yet been announced. And check this out, a pretty cool story from Nevada. A ranch right up against to the top secret Area 51 base is now for sale. The Medlin Ranch has been owned by the same family for 50 years and was just put on the market in late 2020 for $4.5 million. It is the only cattle ranch that is directly adjacent to the world's best known military base. The ranch was given special permission by the military to tend to cattle on the military's land as long as the owner Owners of the ranch let the military know ahead of time. Not sure who that guy was walking along that road there. Gary Canalti joins us now with more details about this chilly forecast, Gary. Yeah, we continue to have alert days in the forecast through Monday of next week. Low temperatures below zero every night. Some nights as cold as 10 to 15 below zero. Daytime high temperatures only in the single digits. And wind chills early in the morning, perhaps as cold as 30 to 40 below zero by the end of the weekend. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Low temperatures tonight will be around 10 below zero with wind chills as cold as 15 to 25 below zero. Some light snow is expected late tomorrow into tomorrow night, probably around an inch or so of accumulation, if that. And then also some snow chances Saturday and Tuesday of next week. Coldest wind chills, like I said, down to 30 to 40 below zero, possible Saturday night and Sunday night. Those will be our two coldest nights as far as the wind chill is concerned. As we look at high temperatures today, they were only in the single digits to the lower teens, but right now those temperatures have dropped below zero north and west of Madison. Madison right at zero. You factor in the winds, we're seeing wind chills now in the teens and 20s below zero, maybe even uh, close to 
of 30 to 35 below zero across northern Minnesota and parts of North Dakota where wind chill warnings remain in effect through noon on Sunday. Wind chill advisories in effect from much of the state of Wisconsin away from Lake Michigan. They've been expanded now into the Madison area beginning at midnight and lasting through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Future track snowfall for uh, to late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, less than an inch in most areas, maybe a little bit more closer to Lake Michigan where there could be a little bit of lake effect snow. But as we head into Saturday, we could see an additional one to two, maybe locally three inches of snow from that weather system. It'll be light, fluffy snow. The temperature is really cold. And then as we head into Tuesday of next week, one of the long range computer models, the GFS model, has more cold air pouring in. So that keeps the threat for accumulating snow well to our south and to our east. The European computer model has the snow much farther to the north and west because it doesn't have quite as bitterly cold air by the middle part of next week. So that could bring the potential for several inches of snow accumulation at that time. Live view from Edgewater Skycam in downtown Madison. Skies are clear tonight, but it is cold. Low this morning, 11 below zero. High temperature, 11 above zero. And right now, we're right in the middle at zero. Skies are clear. Winds out of the north at five. Give us a wind chill of 10 degrees above zero. On weather track, you can see a huge storm system in the Gulf of Alaska starting to pump up a lot of uh, milder air up into Alaska and western Canada. That's buckling the jet stream and starting a surge of cold air southward into much of the eastern two-thirds of the country. And that's going to be the trend uh, for the foreseeable future. Right now at the surface, winds are coming out of the north and northwest. That's continuing to bring down cold air from Canada over a widespread snow cover. Future track shows mainly clear skies for tonight. That will allow those temperatures to really nosedive. Tomorrow the clouds move in. Maybe some light snow or flurries late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. And then as we head into Friday, a few flurries. And then the next round of snow could arrive on Saturday, late Friday night into Saturday. And that could bring us perhaps an inch or two of snow accumulation at that time. Wind chill advisory is now in effect for uh, Dane County and areas to the north and west beginning at midnight, lasting through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. West of a Platteville to Lone Rock to um, Richland or uh, Wisconsin Dells Line, that advisory runs until uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. 10 below for the low temperature in Madison with wind chills down to 25 below. High temperature tomorrow only at 6 degrees. And we could see some light snow late in the day. Future track wind chills starting out at 20 below zero and only getting up to maybe about 7 or 8 uh, below zero by late in the afternoon. 7 to 10 day forecast again that light snow Saturday. Then the coldest wind chills Saturday and Sunday morning, uh, Sunday, Monday mornings with temperatures around 10 to 15 below zero. Look for temperatures to be at least rebounding back closer to normal toward the end of next week after that snow chance on Tuesday. All right, Gary, thank you. And still to come tonight, a major golf tournament returning to Wisconsin soil. We'll have the details just ahead. Stay with us. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. What you see is important to you. How you see is important to us. We're Shop Co Optical. You'll see. Workouts like this? Now through February 11th, Joint Planet Fitness for no enrollment, $10 a month, no commitment. With all this variety, you can move it in our clean and spacious clubs and use the crowd meter in our app for the best time to visit so you can work out with plenty of room to move. America, your fitness is essential. Join for no enrollment, $10 a month, no commitment. Deal ends February 11th. Five Madison area locations. Sign up for $10 a month. Stop in today. Let uneven surfaces slow down your shoveling next winter. Let concrete lifting technologies raise up your uneven pavement. Our minimally intrusive procedure uses polyurethane to level sunken concrete and provide a level surface. Why replace your concrete when you can lift it? For a free quote, call Concrete Lifting Technologies today. Here they come. Bedroom pictures floating across your television. If you think this commercial is making you tired, Rubens Furniture has achieved its goal. We want you to notice the next bedroom set you are going to buy. You're getting sleepy. Stay awake for a bit longer. Rubens Furniture has these beds on display and on sale. It's time to wake up in a beautiful bed. Stop into Rubens Furniture today for our annual bedroom sale. On now. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. 
Why not let us take that crippling burden off your back? Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Dear Winter, I'm coming. My squad of 15 vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of my game. So you better bundle up, Toyota. President's Day deals are on. Get $1,500 customer cash on a new 2021 Highlander or Highlander Hybrid. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. For the pets you love, well, you gotta get down to Mal's Pet Food Warehouse. Where your dollar goes to help so many pets in town. Mal's Pet Food Warehouse. We raise money for farm animals in need. And our friends living in the zoo. We feed rescue dogs and shelter cats. And police canines too. Mal's Pet Food Warehouse powers them all. And don't forget your free Mal's candy bar. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back, Badger men's basketball team with a game that was moved up from tomorrow to tonight at Nebraska. That's ahead of a huge game Sunday against third-ranked Ma uh, Michigan in Madison. You can watch that one against the Wolverines right here on News 3 Now Sunday at noon. Jonathan Davis leading the Badgers with 10, nine apiece for Dimitri Trice and Brad Davison tonight in Lincoln. The Badgers with about three minutes left in that one, they lead 55-46. A popular senior major golf tournament is coming back to Wisconsin. The 2023 U.S. Senior Open is it's going to be played at Century World in Stevens Point. Wisconsin has hosted USGA Championships 17 times. It will be the second U.S. Senior Open in the state. Officials say they expect more than 75,000 fans to come to the tournament throughout the week, and they expect more than $20 million of economic impact in the Stevens Point area. Well, the Bucks tonight without guard Drew Holiday who is in league COVID protocols for the next week is putting a five game win streak on the line in Phoenix. And right now they are just getting underway in the third period. Milwaukee with a 71 to 63 lead. Giannis and Bryn Forbes with 17 points apiece. Well, Tom Brady threw three touchdowns during the Super Bowl on Sunday, but his pass right here might have been a little more impressive. Tossing the Lombardi Trophy across the Hillsborough River to teammates. So you can do that when you have like whatever, seven of those things. The teammates on another boat, the Buccaneers taking part in the team celebratory boat parade. Fans line the river walk there in Tampa to get a glimpse of the players and their friends as they cruise the river there. Buccaneers beat the Chiefs, of course, 31 to 9 on Sunday. We'll be right back. President's Day means more savings at the Brothers Main President's Day Super Sale. Get in right now for the sale of the season with more savings on more brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. We've got a lot more satisfaction for you at Maine, like up to 18 months 0% financing and free delivery to make life a little easier. Hey, there's more home satisfaction at the Moore Store. The President's Day Super Sale. More selection, more savings, and more satisfaction today at the Brothers Main, your local store for more since 1938. What's so fantastic about the fantastic four-day sale at Denver Mattress? Well, that's four fantastic days to save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Four days of fantastic prices, like the Summit Firm, only $189.99. Or how about fantastic deals with up to $500 off select Tempur-Pedic mattress sets, plus a free $300 furniture oak gift certificate. And the most fantastic of all, get seven years no interest and free shipping. Hurry, the fantastic four-day sale at Denver Mattress ends Monday. Save big money in all of your plumbing needs at Menards. Make sure you have hot water when you want it with our wide selection of Richmond water heaters now all on sale. An Encore tankless natural gas or liquid propane water heater keeps your home efficient. It's designed to supply continuous hot water for up to four bathrooms at the same time. Pick it up right now for $9.99.99 at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Get the support you need to stay healthy. At iCare, you'll receive up to $1,200 per year in over-the-counter benefits that can be used on the items you need, in-store or delivered right to your door for free. You'll also get a dedicated care team, including a care coordinator, doctors, nurses, pharmacists, and health coaches, all committed to helping you feel your best today and tomorrow. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for your health needs. 
Every year, thousands of Wisconsin residents make the difficult choice between eating or heating their home. So please join News 3 now and support a week of warmth, benefiting the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. 90 cents of every dollar donated is used to help those in crisis. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the need is now greater than ever. Give the gift of warmth. For more information, visit kwwf.org. Week of Warmth, sponsored by Viridian Homes. than low prices? Then get more ways to save at Pick and Save, where you can find personalized coupons, weekly deals, and rewards like fuel points. All for prices that are lower than low. On food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. Watching News 3 Now at 10. Well, let's go back to Gary. Final check of the chilly forecast. Yeah, wind chill advisory is now in effect for Dane County and areas to the west overnight into mid morning tomorrow. Temperature right now, Madison zero, already below zero to our north and west. Wind chills 10 to 15 below zero in some spots. And by morning, those wind chills could be as cold as 25 below with a temperature of minus 10. High tomorrow of six. And those temperatures staying frigid through the weekend and into the early part of next week. Maybe some snow chances Saturday and Tuesday. All right, Gary, thank you. And thank you for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, be well, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.